magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had, and never will have, connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Mm -hmm. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Wangs always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this... On the anniversary of your parents, it's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something tells me that Harvey didn't do something shady. <laughs> Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files... Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, so no, I'm just Kyle. glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can 
Drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. <laughs> I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's <laughs> taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested <laughs> in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. <laughs> okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit.
<laughs> oh man, guys. Hope this goes well. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound Ooh, of an quiet. ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. Nothing left to bury. Ugh. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, non-explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Well, let me see. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. 
I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. That bad? Ugh. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. Wow, looks like he's been burned. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Doesn't connect. All right, guys, I'm going to stop right here. Um, we will continue, continue this tomorrow. Um, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. If you're new, hit the notification bell for another uploads. And, um, yeah, so... So I hope you have a great day, hope you liked this video, um, and not soon.